How many times have you heard these phrases? Change is the only constant. Is it too late to change? If only I could, I'd really want to change this. In this channel, you don't have to wonder. We are going to interview people who really make a difference to this world. Let their stories inspire and empower you to create the change you want to see. Who knows, you could be the next change maker. Welcome to the Change Makers. Hi, I'm Sakala. And I'm Leo. And welcome to another edition of the Change, Change Makers. Makers. Today's guest, I would call him an adventure yeah. sports person. He mm -hmm. is an adrenaline junkie. He has a day job, but his actual passion lies in something doing completely alternative. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Fahad Al Bunyan. Hi, Fahad. Hi, Welcome to the you. show. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Fahad, for the people who don't know who you are, which mm -hmm. is very few people, can you please tell them what you do? It's a long story, but mm -hmm. for the audience, we'll try to make it uh, brief. Uh, yeah. um, I'm passionate about sports. I've been doing lots of different sports uh, mm -hmm. for, a, for a while, since I was probably 10. So mm -hmm. I remember playing tennis. Mm -hmm. I remember playing uh, taekwondo. I remember, remember playing football. I had mm -hmm. the uniform of different clubs. I yeah. did not professionally wow. uh, commit to those because education for my parents was number one. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So professionally, or well, not professionally, but I started dedicating time for sports mm -hmm. the year I graduated from university. Oh, okay. So that was the turnover because for, for me, for many years, I've been involved in lots of different activities. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily sports, but mm -hmm. also outdoors activities, mm -hmm. which all accumulated into the experience that I, I added at a later stage or I benefited from. So the idea is that for many years, I've been doing a lot of things. I was part of the Boy Scout since the fifth grade until, mm -hmm. let's say, 10th or 11th grade. Okay. That's great. So camping, uh, staying outdoors, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. all of these things uh, we've done. Uh, even activities that requires us preschool. So part of the Boy Scout activities mm -hmm. is that to, uh, to go two weeks before the school opens at mm -hmm. the end of the summer mm -hmm. and prepare the school for the new year. So mm -hmm. repaint and clean and wash the classes yeah, and yeah, then we spend yeah. the night in the school in okay. our classes. Oh, lovely. So that was, mm -hmm. that, this is one of the most beautiful experiences I had when it comes to, to Boy Scouts. Oh, also. Okay plantation we used to grow we planted um, the mangrove where Katara is yes mm. so before Katara before Aladdin Park yes so we <laughs> were we were uh, municipality the municipality required school students to participate so they brought the Boy Scout and we planted and I remember the, the, the mangrove trees growing higher than me and every time my dad takes us out on the weekend we yeah. pass by that area yeah. wow. <laughs> and we say the, all these trees I planted with my friends yeah, but then Kisara came and everything uh, yeah, changed. Went, changed yeah so um, but again sports has always been a passion uh, mm. we wanted me and my friends when we, we started all of this together right after the university and we we've always said we go to the gym mm -hmm. regularly mm. but what else at the end of okay. the day, you know what I mean? So huh. what, where can we take all this health, yeah. where huh. is the stamina, where are this flexibility? Because right. yeah. right. we, we, we used to spend four or five hours in the gym between mm. training, mm. several disciplines, so mm. gym, okay. mm. and then Aikido, mm. and then Taekwondo. Mm -hmm. oh. So we're doing martial art while we're working uh, out in the, in the gym. And we were saying, at the end, where do we reach? You, know? <laughs> yeah. you can train out throughout your life, and yes. then if you don't compete, you don't okay. feel like you're utilizing it for, yes, yes, for yes. something that adds value. Yes. All right. So it's more or less for your own health benefit. Okay. But let's try to use it okay. yeah. somewhere. So, so Fahad, can you say that this particular moment, when when yeah. did you actually realize that, okay, I'm just doing this for sports and what's next? Mm -hmm. Was there like a certain specific defining moment that led you to realize, okay, let's take this out of the gym <laughs> and bring this to the mountains yep. <laughs> yeah. exactly. and make an adventure out of it, really yeah. prove ourselves, push the envelope. So yep. when was that moment? This moment was 2011. Okay. So uh, we want to. So specific. We've been, yeah, uh, there, is, uh, there is an incident that uh, my friend would remember. Okay. Uh. So um, we said, let's do something. And All right. What? What, uh. what can we do? Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, he threw in the, the Kilimanjaro challenge. Okay. Uh. And he says, yeah. you know, online, a lot of people are doing it, but here, Mm. And I said, mm. mountaineering, it's not even our. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we don't have mountains here. We don't here. have mountains here. <laughs> yes, you know? yes. Uh, 
let's do it. He says, okay. and I said, what about training? Oh. Mm. Where do we train? He says, we already train Thai boxing. We do Muay Thai three times a week. Mm. Mm. So we just do long walks. Let's go online and check what else you require. Mm. Okay. So for about four months, we were doing only Muay Thai mm. three times a week. Mm. And then on the weekend, we would do six to eight hours mm. walking with backpacks Ooh. that are eight to, f- to 12 kg. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, aspire. Yeah. Okay. And then it'll take us three to five hours. And for five, mm. for mm. five, four, five, four or five months, we mm. were training for that only. Mm. And this led us to a lot of things all day, not only the mountains, but mm. led it opened some social work and charity work okay. as well. For Correct. Us. Okay. okay. So because every question you always reflect, you know, so mm-hmm. every question leads to the other. Yes. We, mm-hmm. When we did the mountain or we were close three weeks before the mountain. Yeah. We said, uh, let's visualize now we're there. Yeah. Huh. Let's yeah. walk. And we're now we're walking. We're camping mm. on, the, on the way. We reach the summit. Huh. Yes. We're happy. We open the guitar flag. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. We take pictures. People are proud, families, huh. friends. We're proud of what we achieved. Yeah. And then what? <laughs> and he says, uh, what do you mean? I huh. said, yeah. what did we add to humanity? What yeah. did we add to people? Yeah. Is exactly. it that proud moment and then disappear forever? Huh. Yeah. Or we can do something. He huh. says, what do you mean? I said, huh. I read some online that people in Europe hmm. are doing challenges for charity. Ah. It's either to uh, gather a certain amount hmm. okay. or to just raise awareness. So they don't need to, uh, to gather uh, money, but mm-hmm. they can just raise awareness about the certain hmm. cause. Okay. He says, okay, let's do it. So we started getting in touch with charity organizations in the UK. Mm. And this is two months before the trip. Mm. Until the third week. Mm. And then we asked the question again, why are we going so far? I mean, the charity organization gave us a page, mm. okay. gave us an account. They gave us all the details. They said, mm. all you do is ask people to log in into this link, yeah. uh, enter the details and, and transfer money yeah. from anywhere in the world. Correct. And the money can go to different causes. Mm. Mm. So they gave us all the information required, created, almost created the page for us. Mm. They were just waiting for our approvals. Mm. And I said, do you think local charity organization would do something like this? Huh? He says, I have no idea. I mm-hmm. said, how about I drop an email? Googling, Googling, got emails of marketing, mm-hmm. emails of info, mm-hmm. emails wow. of <laughs> reception, whatever it is, yeah. at charity organizations. Nice. And they responded to mm-hmm. us about, let's say, two weeks. One organization responded mm. to us. Mm-hmm. And he said, and he called me. Mm. Said I received an email. Uh, can I see you? And I said when? He says today. <laughs> I said well I leave. I get off work at three thirty. Can mm. I see you at four? Mm. He says I finish work at three, but I'll wait for you. Mm. Right. I came and he says you guys just fell off the sky. I've been working in a charity, in a UK based charity organization mm-hmm. for twenty five years. Yeah. Mm. And they just hired me six months ago. Oh wow! And I've been doing mm-hmm. this challenge for cause. And we've done lots of things. I mm. mean, run between Brighton and uh, London. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, uh, 90 miles. Mm. Whoever uh, gathers, people, mm. 10 people are running. 10 people have different 10 different causes. Mm. Ah, okay. And then this guy gets 200 pounds. This guy, they get three. This guy makes mm. a, th- a thousand, whatever mm. it is. Yeah? yeah. And then it goes to the causes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. the money they go- collect is from their family, friends, whoever mm. watches mm. them and, and monitors their progress. Mm. So I want to do, so- I wanted to do something like this, mm. but the market is not ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how about I start this concept with you and if it works, then we'll just spread it and then we repeat it and then we'll just Fantastic. Yeah. And we initiative. Did, and yeah. we assembled, we gathered one point six million. Oh mm. wow. Build from schools. Mm. The mm-hmm. the cause was West Africa. It was Mali, Burkina Faso, Morocco wow. and Senegal and, and Mauritania. Fantastic. Yeah. We accumulated education. one point mm. six million and mm-hmm. it was for education, for wells, for building of bakeries, for supporting mm. families. Okay. So training, economic economic and yeah. social economic development yeah. for yeah. families yeah. Yeah. mostly. And Great. that was our open doors and we did it about six, seven times with Wow. With charity organizations, all challenges for yeah. a cause. So that's, that's what it's become. And our statement, our logo became, our slogan became um, challenge for life. So mm-hmm. min ajil haya, challenge for life. And ah. We've been following and using this uh, for, for, for this for, whole for everything. Everything, for everything you everything do. Do. Exactly. Did you did you have at your in your entire uh, all this journey? Mm-hmm. Have you had mentors? <clears throat> I mean, I'm assuming that you would have had a mentor mm-hmm. or you would have had somebody who you wanted to follow mm-hmm. into mm-hmm. this particular path. All Were right. there any mentors, anybody we stand out in terms of what you wanted to do? To be honest, Anna, my friend, I would always call him my cautious because I would also consult and mm-hmm. then he would tell me yes mm-hmm. or no. Okay. So I, I, I used to tell him, you're the mirror <laughs> that I want to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of mentors, there are always people that we aim to, to, 
to follow mm. their path, whether mm. they're in sports, whether they are in, in life. Mm. But to be to be honest, and for all the different cha- challenges, one mentor mm. will not be sufficient <laughs> because we we do a lot of things that have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> correct, correct. Uh, example, so you have multiple mentors. So we have, mm. yeah, exactly. Mm. I mean, people that we aim to admire or aim to follow mm. or aim to copy at mm. certain as certain fields because mm. if you look at the differences for example mm. the adventure sports let's say sailing yeah? mm. so that's one aspect of it yeah. we sailed with Kitara to India yes 5,000 5,200 kilometers or yeah. 2,500 kilometers he landed in Bombay mm. wow. yeah. we reached in Bombay yeah and did a lot of shopping and came back yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't, have to, back. We didn't <laughs> have to worry about sailed back we didn't have to worry about weights yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we just carry it whatever <laughs> And then we we took a motorbikes and we rode to to um, to Turkey. Mm. That's mm. another challenge. Mm. Uh, That's great. I aim to cycle in as many countries as I can. Mm. So we did so far about 12, 13 countries. Mm. Let's say 2,500 kilometers. Oh mm. wow! Okay. I want to. We do the mountaineering aspect of it. So, mm. yeah. so there are lots of people that we aim to follow and le- mm. learn their tricks. Correct. And, and learned from as well. With mm. the new technology, access to information mm. became mm. a lot easier. Than yes, before. absolutely. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, so you yes, can yes. always go and you don't have to follow a certain path. Yeah, yeah? We, have a, we have a performance uh, structure mm. mm-hmm. and he's following a certain, uh, he always likes to follow a certain school. Mm. But he's open to us challenging his mm. uh, way or path or mm. methods. Mm. Mm. And he always says, you guys, I would give you the one that I am confident of. Mm. I'm not saying I'm the only Uh, method of training mm. or, 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 or performance de- uh, development mm. but this is the way I know mm. you guys bring ideas I will learn from the experience you will learn from the experience mm. but there are always now with the access to information mm. you know how it is in the past your teacher tells you everything you just follow blindly yes. because you, you don't have anybody else to yeah, do you, you, you don't question him you don't question yeah, yeah. Um, well in, it seems to me that you have a lot of achievements already in sports in adventures Uh, mm-hmm. in the charities, in all the causes that you've helped. Mm-hmm. Now, how does all of this come together and help you achieve something that's personal? Uh, how, how does this all help you with, with something that's outside of adventure? Uh, to be honest, uh, the yeah. skills we learned from, okay. from the, the challenges and the adventure mm-hmm. adventures mm-hmm. brings up, I mean, reflects on our life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The For discipline. example, the discipline, mm-hmm. the, the time management, yeah. the, the planning and the organizations, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the multitasking, mm-hmm. yeah. the mental strength, mm-hmm. the adaptation mm-hmm. to changes, the mm-hmm. flexibility, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. the resilience, yes. all of those components that mm-hmm. without going yeah. through them in reality, uh-huh. they yeah. wouldn't. Exactly. There are certain things that we always talk For example, um, we always talk about our reflex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for example, or, or hand-eye coordination. Yeah. Correct. I think from all the stuff I've done, boxing mm. was the only sport that gave me that. Mm. Yeah. So okay. We were sitting. Would at, also would be will with martial remember. arts. Um, yes, well, my wife will always remember the. We were sitting in a restaurant. Huh? And Something and falls, he immediately catches. Uh, yeah, I mean, I kid actually. I put my hand okay. under his head, and I, I was surprised of my my reflex before uh. his dad could even saw uh. what mm. happened. Uh. So my hand landed between. A few centimeters from his head banging on the, the ground, on the ground in a restaurant. Excellent. On the next table. <laughs> Excellent. Ooh, and I was saying, yeah. I, I mean, we reflect and saying, mm. because my wife is there and she says, wow, that was fast. How yeah. did you see him? Yeah. You're talking mm. to me. Mm. I said, I have no idea. Mm. Yeah, it becomes second nature. So your, so your peripheral region, yeah. vision yeah. also comes. like it. Yeah. Yeah. And I would say, true, true. Uh, when you reflect on that and you say, where did we get that? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. And mm. when I play with my kids, for example, they throw balls at me mm. and then I would... Catch, catch it without it, yes. looking. Mm. And I remember I played tennis. Huh? I remember how they, <laughs> the, the, just the, the, the ball would touch my hand uh. and then I would run and get it and then uh. come back mm. if I don't yeah. hit wow. it correctly. So there are certain things, you know. Mm. Also the, the, adapt, uh, the adaptation, for example, mm. mountaineering. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You push yourself not far beyond the red line but so far that you cannot even see the red line behind you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then every other terrain huh? becomes mm. absolutely simple. Yes. Every time, my friend who does mountaineering with me, huh. every mm. time we say, uh, you know, it's really tiring. Yeah. And then we just reflect on how we felt in the mountain. And yeah. we say, you know, okay. with oxygen being here, <laughs> we don't have a problem. We yeah. just do it. It's not like the mountain. Because yeah. for me, the most challenging adventure you could do yeah. is mountaineering. 
We're going to talk about that in length because yes, it's a huge thing it's for us. Like yes, huh? it's, yeah, it's a world. Yeah. It's a world on its own. Yeah. Great, great. It's a world on its own. Yeah. So we'll just have a break, a quick break, yeah. and we'll come back with more exciting things that you can tell us about. Yeah. yeah. All right. Welcome to the Change Makers. Okay, welcome back to the Change Makers. Today we are here with Mr. Fahad Al Bhuinen, and we are talking about adventures. Yes. He's someone who defies gravity, <laughs> literally, <laughs> uh, for me, and he has a lot of things to share with us. So, uh, for my next question, okay, um, this is something that's really interesting. Um, you completed a 19-hour swim mm -hmm. on the English Channel mm -hmm. against yeah. the tide. Okay, now, what motivated you to do that? Uh, what, what was the mindset behind all of this? And I think, if I'm not mistaken, you were without a wetsuit. Without yeah. a wetsuit? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. There is a purpose for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a reason behind it. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell us something about this, please? Sure. <laughs> um, the journey started in 2018. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a build-up rather than a surprise. I'm swimming 19 ah. hours. Yeah. But it's a journey. So when, what I okay. mentioned earlier, when we were preparing for the, the Ironman, mm -hmm. we were actually in Sri Lanka. Okay. 70.3. In okay. Colombo, so we were doing half Ironman. Okay. Mm. When we we came back, our coach was there, mm. and then we came back. He says, "You guys did well. This is your first half Ironman. You've mm. only done the sprint distance, mm -hmm. which is ten percent. Mm. The distance, it's a big jump from mm. sprint distance to half Ironman. Mm. Mm -hmm. You don't have experience. You just got into what the is field. the sprint distance, if I may ask? The sprint distance is 700, uh, 750 meters swim, mm. uh, twenty k cycle, mm -hmm. and then five k running." Okay. And then we did one, we jumped to 1.9 kilometers, which okay. is mm. almost more than double. More than double, wow. And yes. then uh, 90 kilometers cycle, oh, wow. which is four times. Yes. Mm. And then a 21 kilometers run, which, which is, is five, five times. times. Five yes. times. Yeah. <laughs> almost, yeah. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Yeah. So, and the difference was, <clears throat> was about five months. So October, we did our first sprint. Mm. February, we did four. Full Iron Man, uh, half, half Iron Man. Iron Man. April is the day, uh, or May was yeah. the full Iron Man. Oh, okay. Wow. Which I wasn't able to attend because yeah. of yeah. work. Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. that was the journey. So we came back and he says, uh, you guys are ready for Houston. Mm -hmm. We said, uh, yes. He says, but I have something else for you. Mm -hmm. I said, what do you mean? <laughs> he says, I have another challenge for you. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you guys are going to manage it both, mm -hmm. but it's July. Mm -hmm. And we said, okay, what is it? He said, English Channel and mm -hmm. Relay. We said, okay. I said, I want both of you. Mm. And we're going to form a relay team, Qatar's mm. first. Mm. Mm. And I said, where did this come from? He <laughs> says, one of my athletes mm. um, wanted to do it solo. Mm. And I told mm. him, you're not ready now. Mm. How about you do it um, in a yes. relay team really, yeah. yes. to get the experience and the feeling. Okay. Yeah. And then you train and you build up to full. Mm. Mm. He says, okay, fine. And then you'll be first team and then first uh, solo. Mm. And he says, okay, done. Right. I, we said, okay, but what, how does it work? In May, we just train now without mm -hmm. swimming. He mm -hmm. says, you continue your swim. I'm just going to add to your regular training mm -hmm. of sun, cycling, running, and swimming, mm -hmm. and then gym, and mm -hmm. then yoga, and then flexibility, mm -hmm. and then high intensity. <laughs> <laughs> so you continue, but yeah. I'm just So high, low, high, bit. low. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to add a little bit of swim to your mm -hmm. yes, discipline. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, he says, okay, fine. And then we started from February, immediately after mm -hmm. the 70.3. Mm -hmm. We started. We continued training of the Ironman, and yeah. then we just added a little bit to, of swimming, mm. and then we did a lot of group because now it's a team. Yes. Mm. And the idea is that he wanted to do three, mm. okay. but we. He said, "I don't mm. know about people's commitment. You guys are super busy with your jobs." Yeah. Mm. So we built the team up to seven. Ah. And then he says we can drop mm. yeah, every <laughs> month. Somebody will drop. Will drop. Mm. Yes. And then at least the minimum we can do is three. We cannot go below three. Otherwise, mm. it'll be pair rather than. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 and the category will be complicated to change. Mm -hmm. We said, okay, mm -hmm. fine. So we, we signed up seven people, mm -hmm. and then we all were ready on day one on the boat. The seven of us, everybody committed to sport okay. to, yeah. to the full training mm -hmm. and the logistics, and we flew together. And it was a seven teams relay. That's Fantastic. 20, 2018. Uh -huh. wow. We were welcomed by His Highness Damir. He was in London at the same week, and mm -hmm. we took picture and we gifted him the team's uh, T-shirt, mm -hmm. and we did it as the first uh, Qatari uh, team. team. Mm. And wow. the diversity of the team was very different, you know. Mm. Uh, I mean, engineers to doctors to lawyers to me in PR wow. and PR and marketing. Fantastic. Uh, and we did not, I mean, some of us did not even know 
each other you know? mm. so mm. the only one common was to train mm. to train. love for training exactly. love for sports exactly. love for passion and to make it our proud yeah. yes and that was the only thing that got us and that was the beginning of the journey wow. of the of the swimming i love what you said about the adding just a little bit of swimming to your already don't don't uh, believe him in for a minute it's more than a little bit <laughs> of swimming <laughs> how little bit or how more was 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 that like okay. to 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 be able to prepare you for the whole thing all right so yeah. my fu- the full iron man training okay was two hours per day okay. two to three hours per day mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. about four to five times a day a week mm-hmm. and then one day was four to five hours mm-hmm. yeah it can reach seven hours seven wow. the, yeah i mean this is weekly this is the build up so what was in the <laughs> training process what all did you do we did all of that So, so you did swimming, everything, cycling, all four, everything, all, everything. All, the, all three four. disciplines. Yeah, but you have like disciplines. more special training for swimming, just to prepare for yes. the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. So when we added a little bit of swimming, mm-hmm. it was swimming coming instead of twice a week. Mm-hmm. It was coming about four times a week. Four okay. times a week. So sometimes I would I would do an mm-hmm. hour of running, mm-hmm. and then okay. I'll do an hour of swimming instead of just. doing massage and eating and mm. hydrating yeah. you know yeah. or two hours of swimming of mm. running okay. on the running day mm. and then i will do 45 to an hour of swimming okay and because then the relay the mm. distance of swimming was not long you know so we, we were expecting if it was seven we would expect each to swim about 10k mm. yeah mm. Mm. solo mm. i swam 40 54k Ooh. Yeah, so yeah. It's like Doha to Al Khor. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You have so to big. you have to see his path <laughs> on the Instagram page. So that was the well, yeah, that was the difference, you know. <laughs> but but for the Easy, solo, it yeah. was that's that's the plan. I mean, we expected that each will if we did the 30 or 40 kilometers, we expected each to to mm. swim, let's say, 10 to 10 to 15k. So all of you <laughs> trained in every single mm-hmm. discipline. Mm-hmm. No, that's no. the difference. Talal and I were the only ones who had a planned uh, upcoming. Iron Man. Oh, okay. The other five Just were focus only on swimming. focusing on swimming. Okay. Ah. So we were joining them in the group training mm. and mm. then each was training on their own mm. Mm. and then we would continue. Okay. And this lasted for us about fe- February, March, April until end of April. Mm. So what were you training in swimming? Were you training on stamina or speed? It was a combination of both. So okay. it's always uh, low intensity, high intensity, mixed. Correct. Uh-huh. Strength as well. So we had to add a little bit of for power and different yeah. uh, tools that we use for swimming to mm. add power mm. we were doing all this um, intervals training up and down correct correct so it was a combination of long distance yes. low intensity mm. or short distance high, high intensity, intensity you know? oh. or a combination of yeah. tapita yeah. which is up and down interval wow. training wow. Mm. Wow. so it was always complex uh, wow Right. But we have our application, we have our uh, apps, yeah. we communicate everything. with yes. the coach, okay. we have our performance coach, wow. and we had our swimming coach. So for the performance coach was for all the other three disciplines. Correct. Mm. For swimming, we had specific technical. Okay. Because yeah. for yeah. us, yeah. swimming, when you swim from a young age, mm. Mm. you're absolutely different than when you swim, when you start learning to swim later on. When did you start learning? I didn't. I, I've never taken professional swimming classes yeah. until okay. I was... Um, I don't know, a few years ago, just oh. before the English Channel, professional, <laughs> when we were doing Iron Man. Wow. So I, I was... But you have done scuba diving and diving and all. Yes, but that's completely different. Yeah, but at least you're not scared of the water. Like, I'm oh, no, very I'm, scared of the water. Water is my element. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, like my husband, is my, element, my husband yeah. cannot understand why I'm exactly. scared of the water, oh, yeah. but I'm scared of the water. <laughs> huh? When it comes to the fear or the love of water, the, the, the mm. sea and the... Yeah. I'm a man of the sea. My husband. Wow. Natu- naturally, you know. So yeah. mountains is very bizarre I think, and unique I think he was a fish in his previous life, my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even Fahad was. <laughs> I'm curious to know, um, during the whole training, the regimen that you went into what was more difficult to overcome the mental or the physical challenge of going through the whole thing mental definitely because the mm-hmm. whole thing is mental okay but also the challenge is the timing mm. the scheduling the planning mm. okay the running between mm. places you know mm. so my car was a closet my walking <laughs> my mobile closet because yeah. yeah. i have to change you know i have to be at work mm-hmm. and then change into shorts Correct. <laughs> and then back go and back and pick up the yeah. kids and do something go yeah. and meet my friends go and do different kind of activities mm-hmm. so yeah. the alignment and the jiggling of all these multitasks mm-hmm. was the cha- most challenging part yeah. and this yeah. is what a part-time athlete will always tell you, you know? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yes. and the more people tell us how can you do it mm-hmm. the more we get the motivation or you cannot do it because <laughs> we have this 
a friend of ours who mm. said, uh, no, guys, it's too cold. This is the 2018. No, guys, it's too cold. You're not going to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. And uh, we that said, That spurred okay, you we'll on. Say, yeah, exactly. We, said, we, we looked at him and they said, okay, just watch us do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then the same thing with the, with the full distance, you know, because the full distance was 14 degrees. Ooh. Lowest. And highest was 16.5. Oh man! Oh, that's the highest already. Yeah. So you could, you could, you could go into having hypothermia. Hi- hypothermia yeah. The number one failure, yeah. failing yes. reason for the English Channel, yeah, is hypothermia. It's the number one. Cramps and other things comes later, mm. but, uh, oh, but yeah, really? because it's mostly, um, it's mostly related to the, the uh, the hydration, yeah. yeah, and the nutrition, yes, and, for, and the drop of core temperature. Correct. Yeah. Was so, the Wim Hof uh, <coughs> training available during that time? There was this yes. guy who's... Uh, yeah, I've, I've done his online done class, it. yes. Ah, okay. I've All done right. his online class. Mm. What is this? Sorry, this I have This is the guy who's like it's branded Iceman. as a superhuman... Yeah, Iceman. <laughs> yeah, the so Iceman. Oh, yes. Ah, yes, yeah, yes. He's, he's a guy who combines mental strength mm. with breathing techniques. Uh, exactly. In order for him to withstand the cold water. Mm. So that's mm-hmm. part of your yoga also? Yeah, so and I have a combination of two mm-hmm. tools that uh. helps me control... The, myself in water mm-hmm. which is first I'm a free diver so I know how to properly manage my breathing, breathing, breathing yes. yes second I'm a boxer and I know how to breathe while punching mm-hmm. so those combination of skills allows me to withstand water and I when I did his course I huh. was mm-hmm. super happy because I did so well but it was wow. online okay online, I yeah. evaluated myself <laughs> and I did very well because I was able to, able to measure the temperature at all the uh, same measurement mm-hmm. of ice yeah and wow. then withstand it at the same time and because it's live you know it's, yes, it's yes. recorded but Correct. it's timed Correct. all the sessions yeah and i subscribed to it and then i had my laptop and table and i i mean i don't <laughs> want to say this on, on the camera but yeah. i got I, I got a green garbage uh, pen huh? mm-hmm. the one on the streets yes brand new just, <laughs> and then i subscribed with myself with and this was my all. training exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. And uh, it was proper. Me- Fantastic. That's, that's just part of the stuff yeah. I did to help with, mm. with, the, with the cold management. Yeah. And it's cold, man- cold management. Yes, I know. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't bear the cold. Uh, I have a problem with the cold. So imagine cold water and yeah. the sea and, you know, all of it combination. Um, should we take a short break? Yeah. Let's yeah, I think we'll take a short break and sure. we'll be back right after the break. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the Change Makers. Welcome back. Uh, we are in conversation with Fahad and me and Leo have a lot more to ask him. Leo, over to you. Yes. Mm. Uh, they say there are two kinds of fears. First is the fear of public speaking. <laughs> <laughs> the second is uh, fear of heights. Okay. You know, when you're training for, you know, uh, your mountaineering uh, journey and everything, how did you overcome, you know, <clears throat> this fear of heights? What was the training behind all of it? What was the mental uh, fortitude that you have to develop to you know, overcome the fear of heights? All right. Uh, I, there's always a moment when yeah. somebody asks me, are you afraid of heights? Uh-huh. I always remember this moment. Uh-huh. I, we, were, um, we were on the Alps yeah. okay. and we did training. So after Kilimanjaro, we said, guys, mm. we think that we don't have this natural dealing with the mountains because it's not our natural inhabitants. Yes. Mm. Yes. So how about we go and we take professional training mm. courses now if we want to really proceed and, and go through this path. Okay. Mm. So we signed up with a UK-based company mm. who does summer training camps in okay. uh, the Alps. Okay. Italian side, Swiss side, French side, mm. all around Which the is the most difficult? The French side because mm. it's the highest. Okay. And it's the most, it's the snowiest mm, in comparison snowiest. to the other ah, okay. Uh, okay. sides as well. Yeah. But uh, we did the Italian and we did the French. We didn't do the Swiss at that time. Mm. So when we did the, the Italian side, I had uh, a shoe, my, 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 uh, my rented uh, mountaineering technical shoes mm. was mm. one size bigger than my feet. Okay. And I thought it's nice because I can do double socks. And, and also your feet may expand. Feet may expand, yeah. Huh. But it was the wrong decision. <laughs> my, my, ha- my feet kept, Starts my slipping. foot kept slipping. moving in. So you oh. got blisters. So I got blisters. Mm. Blisters that even the, the guide was mm. saying, ouch, Ooh. how can you walk? How, you, how have you been walking oh, since yesterday? Mm. I said, I don't know, I'm just sucking it up. And I says, no, you're not going with us. Mm. So mm. I missed the summit of the Gran Paradiso, which is the Italian side of the Alps. Mm. 
So we came back to Shamuni and he says, guys, for you, you mm. guys are st- stay. And for him, another instructor, a colleague of mine, is going to take him on to just cover some of the tips mm. or some of the skills that he d- he couldn't capture, mm. which is gr- crevasque work. And, uh, which is, what does that mean? A crevasque is all these oh, big uh, okay, got holes it. and holes, this yes. Yeah. So some and rescue, some rescue uh, training mm. that I missed from the second day. Mm. Mm. So we went there. Mm. We came and we took the train and we took this cart all the way up to the yeah. mountain, 2,500. Mm. And then we came to a cave, ice cave, mm. but it was so populated with tourists. So we skipped it and we went to a place that is least visited by mm. tourists. Mm. So we can do mm. our training. Mm. So we did all this crevasse and high. Then he says, so I said, he says, you have two ways to go back after five hours of training. Mm. And I said, which way? He says, Fira Ferrata, yeah. which is this ladder. Yeah. And or we just go back the same way. <laughs> and I said, what's the difference? He says, this is going to make Shorter. your heart yeah. fall into your feet. Fall into your feet. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, but yeah. you require that because mm. it has a lot of rope work as well mm. for mm. safety. Mm. I said, okay, let's do it. He said, it's faster as well. Mm. Yeah, let's faster. Do it. Yeah. So we did the Fia Farata, which mm. is two big mountains. Mm. Each is like 1,000 meters high. Oh, wow. And then you have this steel ladder that goes all the way to a certain area. Mm. And then you cross a bridge, which mm. is not a bridge. It's more of a... A path, wooden a combination of wooden and steel oh cables. Oh my god! This wide, and oh. then you actually uh, clip yourself. Yes. Yourself, and then walk, walk, and then unclip uh. when the needle uh, or the nail is into the mountain. Uh. And then you unclip, you pass the nail, clip and the then you clip. And throughout, uh-huh. I was asking myself, uh-huh. why am when I am still alive? <laughs> <laughs> why am I still alive? Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm holding. How am I holding? I uh-huh. look down. And he says, don't look down if you're scared. And I said, yeah, but I have to face my fear. <laughs> and I look down and I'm, I've never been in this situation. Yeah. So I came back and I was Googling uh-huh. whether what we did was halal or haram. <laughs> was this suicide? Because suicide <laughs> is, is from pan in Islam. Yeah. And I said, was mm-hmm. this... Is this considered suicide? Mm. And I came to the guys and I said, are we killing ourselves? He says, no, we're training to avoid dying on the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> but that moment, every time somebody asked me, so from that moment, that was mm. my last worry or fear of heights. Yeah. And now, yeah, I mean, yeah. in the past, I went to KL and I mm. came to this Twin Tower. Yes. And I hesitated Petronas. to cross. Mm, Petronas. Petronas. Uh. I hesitated to cross the transparent uh, bridge. Yes. Mm. Uh, but later on, I mean... It's I was just, just run natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do tricks for yes, the kids yes, to yes. scare them and my yeah. wife. And, uh, <laughs> all You're saying what got you through the whole uh, fear of heights was just exposure. Facing it. Facing yeah. it. Exactly. Facing so it. So it's exactly. it's a psychological mm. thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is it just so what would you say is more important? Is it more important to be physically fit mm-hmm. or psychologically fit or the other way around? This is the difference between endurance and sprint. Correct. Mm. So sprint, mm. if you do a short distance, high intensity, mm. you just need to be physically ready. Correct. Yeah. When you do long distance, uh, low intensity, mm. even or high intensity, but mm. it's physically impossible. When mm. you do low intensity, long distance, mm. you require the mental mm. readiness because you will yeah. always have the question mm. of stopping, stopping, yes, stopping, yes. stopping. It's mm. very natural for a person. The moment they leave uh, their comfort zone, mm. something unconscious tells them mm. why are you here just mm. drop 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 mm. you don't need this mm. correct uh, this is not your area this is not your uh, mm. terrain yes you live you go yes yeah? yeah so this is when it comes to the high so we define ourselves as athletes as endurance athletes mm. because mm. we do long distance low intensity yeah. yeah and this requires a lot of mental rather than physical readiness yeah yeah, yeah because i think i mean that would be that would make you a motivational speaker because what happens with people is that mental uh, challenge they can't mm-hmm. face. It's not the physical challenge. I'm sure a lot of people are capable of doing it physically, mm-hmm. but mentally they lose, don't you think? Yeah. And I think that's what you should be doing. You exactly. should be going out and telling people what to do. Uh, yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, I am. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, you know? I mean, free diving was the m- most, for me, when I look at, ni- when I say 90% of this particular sport mm. is mental and 10% is physical, yeah. nothing compares to free diving. Mm. So for two years or two and a half years, I was holding the national record of longest breath hold. Oh my God! How much? And how many? Five minutes, twelve seconds, and then it was broken mm-hmm. by seventeen seconds by my friend, and then it was broken by another ten seconds by another friend of ours. Mm. Yeah. So we just kept breaking each other's <laughs> records. Uh, yeah. But yeah. you were the first. <clears throat> but I was the first person to break the five minutes. I was the five first minutes. Qatari to break the five minutes. Uh, 
record. Fantastic. And when my friend told us, uh, so how are we? Uh, we signed up for a course. Uh -huh. And he mm. says, on the last day, I will do static apnea. And this is where you guys train for breath hold. Yes. So it's not about depth. Mm. It's not about endurance. It's mm. about it's you relaxing. Mm. You are then holding your breath. And uh -huh. that's it. Mm. And this is 100% mental. has nothing to do yeah. with your physical. Uh -huh. So we can still do it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, heard Kate Winslet and, and that movie, the, huh? the Avatar Part yeah. 2, huh? mm -hmm. she was able to hold her breath for almost the same five, six minutes, I think, just for training. Just so for it, training, exactly. Yeah. exactly. So we can still do it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah we wish. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> on, on, we did a five days course, and on the day one, mm -hmm. he says, You guys will test now. If you break two and a half minutes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm or you break two and a half minutes, hmm. then you can, you can. E I can easily help you add another m minute or minute and a half. Wow. Wow. I, said, I'm, okay. I'm not sure how long I can hold the breath, but I have this habit of sinking to the bottom of the pool mm. <laughs> and just like doing a Zen-like yeah. meditation yeah. thing, but I'm sure that's different with the sea. Mm. I mean, the uh, buoyancy. Buoyancy issue, buoyancy. right? Because yeah. the salt yeah. level yeah. and all yeah. that stuff. You, uh, yeah, you it makes you go yeah. up. Last yeah. time I checked, I think I can hold for up to 50 seconds. That was when I was still... Uh, uh, active yeah. now I don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. with all these things um, I'm sure your family is playing a big role into uh, you know supporting you with all of these uh, adventures the time management now how can you uh, can you give us some tips on how you were able to uh, to manage all of that all right yeah um, as much as I can I train mm -hmm. in the house Okay. So, oh, so you have a full-time gym? Yes. Okay. So All right. When I do, I have my weights, mm -hmm. I have my mm -hmm. bicycle, I have my rowing machine, mm -hmm. I have the, the, the elastics that I need for okay. flexibility, I yeah. have all the mats, Yeah. and I try to do it with the kids. Okay. Great. So that allows me to kind of balance. Spend you know? time yes. with them as exactly. well. And also yeah. get Train them introduced the into something that will add wow. value to their lives. You know? Correct. Nice. Rather which is a healthy habit. It, which is a good practice. Yeah. Yeah. But there were times where... There were times where it's peak training and I mm -hmm. have to spend. I mean, there were times where we spent 17 hours over two days, mm. of which 12 hours was day one okay. and then five oh hours day two. Oh, my God. So 12 hours of oh. swimming continuously, nonstop. We had a 30 minutes break. I had a 30 minutes break every five hours. For food? Or For food, hydration, prayer, toilet, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. Imagine every five hours... Oh I had 30 minutes break. So the whole 12 hours, I had three breaks. One is after the first five hours. Mm. Second was after the second five hours. Mm. Third was Amazing. when I'm ready to go home. Oh, wow. So I used to train in several pools on the same day because the opening time, operating, operating time of the pools. Yes. So I would start my day in Qatar University huh. and end my day in either Aspire or Sad Stadium. So I signed up in three different mm. swimming pools in order mm. for me to be able to do the block. Mm -hmm. I get special permission as well to access while other while the kids are well, before the public time. Correct. Mm -hmm. Where where uh, club uh, athletes are training. Correct. From them mm -hmm. and from here and from there. And, yeah. Uh, it was very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Would you say that you have achieved at least some of your aspirations in terms of what you want to do in adventure sports, or are there more goals that you have? No, I think what I want to do is more than what I have done way more than what way I've done here because yeah. I always th think that we can do more in here mm. we can do more in there we like can do what? more on that uh, I don't know traveling I would love to travel more mm. <clears throat> I've done uh, I've done 100 country almost and yeah. I want to do Fantastic. the rest of the world uh -huh. With, uh, with cycling around the world, I, I've done 12 countries. I mm. want to do more. With sailing, we did one ocean. But mm. my, 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 I mean, I did two oceans. But uh, I aim to to sail all the oceans. Yeah, oh, including wow. Including the southern. Including, uh, including, including southern Pacific? Southern, yeah, wow. including, including okay, the Pacific, including so the Pacific. Okay. Nice. We want to do all of those things, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, when it comes to sports, I, have, I haven't I have done an official Ironman. I would love to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to try with the martial arts. I want to focus, try groundwork because, okay. for example, jiu-jitsu or judo. Huh? This is the only judo. discipline that I haven't exper experienced. Mm. I mean, I've done a little bit of jiu-jitsu, but yeah. mm. nothing that I would feel confident. Yeah, mm -hmm. there is a there is a sport in India. There is a martial arts in yeah. India in Kerala, which started mm -hmm. in Kerala, which actually went to China and Japan. Right. It's called Kalari Paitu. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. it was it was taught with sword fighting. Mm -hmm. So it's an amazing, you should try that as yeah, well. Should, uh, because also it's it's a question of it. yoga yeah. and it's it's a combination of a lot of uh, right. things, including medicine. So they teach you how mm -hmm. to, okay. you know, look after yourself, look after your body. 
um, I mean, it's I, my, I don't think I'll do it because it's vegetarian. <laughs> but, <laughs> but otherwise, yeah. Uh, well, aside from Iron Man, hmm. what else uh, is the next big thing uh, for you? Uh, which you could probably tie in a cause or something that uh, yeah. that you know that we, has more impact. In we the have world. a we have yeah. a project ongoing project. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Which is after the English Channel. Mm. After, okay. So the English Channel swim in twenty. In 20, 2022, mm. All right. was it was an arch to arch. It's called the the challenge is an arch to arch, arch yeah. which is uh, five hundred kilometers mm. of, from London to Paris. Mm. Okay. So this is where I swam. Yeah. My leg, wow. my so leg from the Arcti Triumph to right up to is it Arcti Triumph? Yeah, so we start mm. with the marble arch in yeah. London, and yeah. then we end in Arc de Triomphe in oh. Paris. Yeah. Mm. So mm. this is uh, this is where my leg, mm. my role is one third one of third. the whole challenge, which supposedly, is the English channel. But supposedly, but eighteen hours, yeah. eighteen hours. <laughs> so my friend ran one hundred and forty kilometers. Oh. I swam the fifty-four kilometers, mm -hmm. and my friend, third friend, cycled three hundred kilometers. So we did this three challenge, and we had a cause, which is building a school in Ghana. Fantastic. And wow. we want to continue now. So we reached about, let's say, two thirds of, of the amount that we want to, 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 uh, race, yeah. to get. To get, mm -hmm. huh? And now we want to do another challenge. Okay. But this challenge involves rowing. Rowing. Yeah. Ah. But because two of us, were, we played rowing for the national team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So technically, we're professional rowers. Mm. But physically, we need to get ready. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now with work commitment, we try to start soft, but it's something that we're aiming for next year. Fantastic. Wow. And it's going to be the first circumna circumnavigation of Qatar. Qatar. Rowing. That's wow. 360 kilometers. Okay. Mm. It's called Qatar 300 because we can't do 360. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And then back again. <laughs> so it's going to be called Qatar 300 because we'll start from the border that's of Qatar nice. Saudi and end at the border of Qatar Saudi. Fantastic. Mm. And that's going to be six days. Yeah. We'll okay. row between 60 to 80 kilometers per day. Mm. And then we aim to cut the distance. And How register. long would you think this whole circum or cir half circum navigation yeah. or whatever, how long do you think it will take? Six, seven days. Six, seven days. Yeah, and okay. it's 460 kilometers. Okay. And how many hours per day approximately? Eight to ten. Eight to ten so we've been training Ooh. eight to ten hours. Ah. And then we would camp mm. on the way. So mm. we have already calculated the distance. We already mm. spoke to the Ministry of Sports for the permits and the approvals. Mm. Yeah. So we're mm. sitting the ground. We spoke to one of the local TV stations as well to support this filming. They mm. did the onshore filming, mm. yet to do the the, uh, the offshore filming. Okay. Fantastic. And uh, we're just training softly, yeah. but because the peak of our training will only be, let's say, early before the next summer. Correct. Okay. So we have about a year of of preparation okay. yeah so does it have to be just the local tv or do you want to like go on netflix or something more discovery national geographic yeah we think the importance yeah. and the challenge is suitable for the local for audience Qatar. okay mm. we don't think it's pushing the mm -hmm. limit mm -hmm. when it mm. comes to the international audience right. that they would find, find it so you're doing it for more for the charity we're doing it's a combination of both mm. first to motivate the youth mm. that you guys just go off the boundary and, okay. and stop thinking of I'm waiting for mm. this to give me the sponsorship Correct. I'm mm. waiting for the official gym yes. to open next to my door and do it <laughs> Correct. I'm waiting for the I don't know air conditioned uh, facilities <laughs> to be there but just yeah. go and push the limits stay under limits. the sun for 10 hours mm. yeah? yeah do train and use the boats you yes. don't have to wait for support and you don't have to, to uh, I mean Say I'm busy with work and complain that you're, you Fantastic. don't have time, mm. but just push the limit. And push the limit. it comes from our time. We don't ask. We take it from our annual leave. Mm -hmm. We go for training camp and we pay from our pockets. We don't yeah. wait for sponsors. We don't wait for excellent. That. It's it's more of a personal investment, mm. and yeah. we're willing to do it. So yes. that's one of the messages. And mm. the, uh, on the other side as well, it's... Uh, Isn't it's that fantastic? Support, that's great advice for, for charity people, yeah. and humanity and, and, exactly. and the but world. But that's, so. that's such a powerful message. Mm. Uh, Very inspiring. Charity, uh, inspirational, aspirational, inspirational. Mm. and adventure sports all rolled into one and, and doing it very well. And fun. True. And yeah. Fun. Fun. yeah, fun. Don't leave fun, fun, fun for yes. you, huh? not for the wife and the kid. Fun for us as well. Don't leave fun yeah. out, yes. I think that when we look at our friends, we do everything together. So we travel yeah. together, mm. we catch up on the majlis together, yeah. we go and camp mm. and cook on the beach and fish together, yeah. we dive together, yeah. we yeah. do yeah. The, the Iron Man together yeah and mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's you basically motivate like-minded people and then you get to do mm -hmm. more things you know all all qataris yeah. Yeah. 
the three of the four of us is all Qataris. Fantastic, yeah, fantastic. All of that, yeah. Great, great. Okay. I think that's one thing I need to uh, have someone to do something with, like going to the gym. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't have anyone to go to the gym don't, with. Don't believe so. him. Don't believe him in for a minute. He he won't go to the gym. He just okay. keeps telling me he goes to the gym. We're going to take a short break and yeah. we react just after uh, this short break. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to the Change Makers. So, welcome back. Uh, Leo, would you like to start what yes. the next segment is all about? We have been talking about a lot of exciting things mm -hmm. uh, with Fahad's life and adventures. But the next part is, I think, the most exciting. For because, us, it's the most fun. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> yeah, it's called the rapid fire. True. Okay? okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put you on the spot. Now, the whole <laughs> deal about the rapid fire mm -hmm. is it's rapid. So, right. mm -hmm. you can't give a long answer. It has yeah. to be short and sweet. Maybe right. one line, yes. one word, one this thing. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Leo, take it away. All right. So... Um, favorite quote that gets you through the day? You can't do it. Ah, <laughs> good one. <laughs> you can't do it. I just do it. <laughs> I just do it. Yeah. yeah. So, so Michael Phelps mm -hmm. or Ed, also Edmund Hillary? Edmund Hillary. Oh, lovely. Oh. Okay. And I have a reason for that. If okay. I may. Yes. Okay. He's done it when nobody has done it before. True. Ah. That's true. He's done it when, and mm. he opened the path to That's the rest true. of the world. Yeah. That's yes, true. Yes, Phelps yes, is yes. nowadays when. Mm. Thousands of people have done it before him. Mm -hmm. Although he broke, but he followed other people's paths. Yes. Yes. Edmund Hillary, he is a pioneer. Pioneer. Pathfinder. Good, yeah. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I've got a hint of what your answer in the next question is, but ocean or mountain? Ocean. Yeah. yeah water mm -hmm. is my element. <laughs> yeah, you yes. said that earlier. Yeah, you, you <laughs> yes. said that earlier. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, um, if you were to teach the world one thing, what would mm. it be? Breathing techniques. It ah. gets you through everything. Tension, mm -hmm. sports, performance, yeah. Yeah. rest of the day, bad, horrible conversations, <laughs> breathing techniques, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Yeah. Traffic, everything. Yeah. Yeah. I would actually do road trips and if we're bored or huh? long flights with yeah. my friends and huh? then I would teach them breathing techniques. breathing techniques. We would be sitting in the camp so winter camp board and I would teach them breathing techniques. Excellent. Mm. I would sit with the kids and just not long hold breath, mm. but proper breathing techniques. Mm. Okay. So it's always something that I love doing. So <laughs> when you talk about breathing techniques, what is it? Is it about a deep breath in, hold, and then let it out? Or yes. how, how does it work? First is control. Second is where do you take the breath? So mm. it's more of a diaphragm Correct. reflex yes. rather mm. than normal yes. throat or something. exactly yeah. mm. and then I start from the very basic is mm. when a baby when you see a baby mm. and they breathe mm. what it's raises swimming. up is the stomach. the stomach correct but if you see an adult mm. what goes up is the chest chest so mm. we taught ourselves oh. unnatural ways yeah. of breathing, breathing and yeah. it's not necessarily the right way okay so I teach them how to breathe from the stomach and then mm. that helps them with everything even including tension Wow. Including uh, withstanding needles if they scared of needles. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> everything, about, everything. Uh, yeah. yeah. Next question: Best kind of martial arts for you? For me, Muay Thai. Oh. Muay Thai. Yeah, because it's the eight points: it's elbow, mm -hmm. it's hand, mm -hmm. it's knees, and it's feet. Okay. So you multiply them by two, then it's uh, yeah, sixteen. Eight points. <laughs> <laughs> eight points. Oh wow! Okay. I know you like the height you know, as in this thing. But if you were to choose between two particular disciplines, one of them would be an ace pilot, say like a Top Gun, okay. or sail America's Cup sailing the world, you know. I would say sailing the world. Hmm. For several reasons. One, yeah. yes. You're a water person, firstly. <laughs> one. Yeah. Yes. And the second is the teamwork. Correct. Everything matters. Every yes. movement. Yes. Yes. If you don't, if you run too slow on the other side, then your boat is like this. Correct. Exactly. Then you affect the whole team. Correct. Mm. Top Gun, you're alone. Yeah. 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 Whatever happens, you, yes. you will stand the 35 million price of the fighter pilot. You fail exactly. the military yes. 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 Correct. Correct. Alone. Correct. Yeah, that's true. But I love the teamwork rather yeah. than solo. Yeah. So, okay. so you like the whole uh, because it's 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 supposed to be one of the toughest races, right? The yeah, the, the sail the sail, America's Cup exactly. sail thing. Great. Yeah. 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 Uh, one last question for me before yes. you go. Yeah. Now with your last question as well, mm -hmm. how do you want to change the world? How do I want to change the world? Yeah, I mean less conflict because conflict mm -hmm. is always uh, yes. horrible. So okay. it's the that's a lovely one, lovely answer. The conflict, conflict. Yeah, lovely conflict, answer, yeah. lovely, lovely. In conflict. all areas, everything can yes. be solved with yeah. talks, you know, yeah. conversations, mm. communications. So. Yeah. How do you want to be remembered? As the person we approach uh, for support, for guide, for help, for whatever it is. Uh, Fantastic. I, As a mentor, I, I don't know how to say no. 
Oh. I don't know how to say no. Somebody asked so me for just something. Just take out the checkbook. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how to say no. So yeah. uh, that's yes, why you've been yes. saying yes to all the challenges yes. that challenges, come across your yes. way. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, my friends, my parents think that mm. my friends uh, push me to do all these things, you know. Because <laughs> I tell them, you know, he tri- he he tricked me. Challenged you. He tricked me. He tricked me. I just did it. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eventually. Uh, but you like to do it. I like to do it. I like to do it. Definitely, I love to do it. If <clears throat> if someone uh, who's watching this video wants to get in touch with you, mm-hmm. whether it is in terms of mentorship or just sponsorship or whatever, how do they get in touch with you? What are your social media handles? If you can just tell the thing. I mean, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. But the mm-hmm. most active platform I use is okay. Instagram. So okay. it's Fabulous at uh, Instagram. Okay. And then we have several accounts that I'm managing as well. It's yeah. guitar hiking yeah. for hiking, okay. swim guitar, which is the theme that swim, and mm. arts to arc, yeah. which is the theme that challenge. So challenge. we have all these th- uh, four platforms that yeah. we mm. I can be reached on, and I'm managing these four accounts. Okay. Yeah. For the swimming, for the mountaineering, for the whatever it is. Fantastic. Traveling. traveling. So so <coughs> you heard it here. If you want to get in touch with Fahad, these are the social media handles that you can have. Yeah. I am on YouTube at Sakla's Life and... I'm on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, mm-hmm. uh, BTS. Yeah. Again, at the famous uh, Korean band, <laughs> but behind the success. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for doing this, Fahad. We really, thank really you. appreciate it. And thank you for your time. Um, thank you for And onwards me. and mm. upwards. And best of luck in all thank your you. future appreciate stuff. It. Thank appreciate you so it. much. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure is ours. Pleasure is ours. How many times have you heard these phrases? Change is the only constant. Is it too late to change? If only I could, I'd really want to change this. In this channel, you don't have to wonder. We are going to interview people who really make a difference to this world. Let their stories inspire and empower you to create the change you want to see. Who knows, you could be the next change maker. Welcome to the Change Makers.